Hi guys, this is Reese from the Fessel series. Have you ever hoped that certain scenes in the movie can be a little different? In this What If series, we relook at some movie scenes and how I wish the scene would go if they were part of the Fessel series. As you guys might have known, the topic of the Fessel series may be a little bit extreme for some, so proceed with caution. The scene starts with Jennifer being tied up on a bed. She is wearing a white spaghetti strap nightgown. A few moments ago, Chucky has implanted his seed in her. The voodoo baby inside her belly is growing rapidly. She looks like someone who has been carrying a large full-term baby. Chucky's voice can be heard in the other room. He is humming a song while sharpening his knife. At the same time, Tiffany and Glenn are preparing a baby cradle. Jennifer starts to feel that the baby is getting stronger. It starts pushing her belly out. Her womb tightens and she felt a sharp pain in her lower belly. It seems like her contraction has started. Jennifer moans in pain. Hearing this, Chucky rushes back to the room. This time he is carrying his beloved large signature knife. Well, 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 I guess it's time. Said Chucky with a wide grin. Chucky approaches Jennifer with his big knife and points it at her large belly. He presses the knife on her belly. As if he is going to stab it. No. Please don't hurt me, said Jennifer in fear, but he is simply just lightly touches Jennifer's dress at the abdomen portion and runs it down. Just with a light touch, it cuts open Jennifer's dress to reveal her huge belly. A solid proof of how sharp that knife is. Chucky caresses her belly. That thing is huge. There is no way you can push that through your c said Chucky. Should I open it now? My knife will cut through your belly like butter. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. I will open it slowly, layer by layer. First, I am going to cut open your smooth skin and your fat layer," said Chucky while holding the upper part of Jennifer's belly and pointing his knife to her navel. Jennifer is terrified. She closes her eyes to anticipate the pain that she is going to feel. Call me Dr. Chucky now. I will perform my first C-section surgery on you. Sorry if I accidentally disembowel you," said Chucky in excitement. The tip of the knife starts poking into Jennifer's navel. Suddenly Jennifer screams loudly. Chucky jumps back in shock. Wow. Wait. What? I have not even stabbed you yet. Said Chucky. Jennifer continues to scream in pain. It is the baby inside her that causing the pain. The baby pushes Jennifer's belly out, seemingly trying to break her skin. Oh, wait. Probably I don't have to do anything. Seems like my baby is trying to rip open your belly. Family, let us enjoy this show," said Chucky while inviting Tiffany and Glenn to watch. Chucky pulls a tiny sofa and a cup of popcorn. He sits together with Tiffany and Glenn. They are watching Jennifer suffering with enjoyment. Jennifer's belly seems to grow again. She looks like someone who is carrying twins. There are a lot of movements inside her belly. Jennifer opens up her legs and tries her best to push the baby down and give birth normally. Nice show, but futile, it won't come out from there. You will end up with torn c torn belly. Just relax and let the baby open your belly. Don't worry, if it doesn't burst out, I have a nice knife here to cut your belly open. Said Chucky playfully. Jennifer keeps screaming. Suddenly the pain changes from contraction pain to sharp pain. Jennifer feels her belly is being stabbed from inside. Something sharp and pointy can be seen below her skin. A tiny and sharp finger burst out from her navel. A sudden spurt of blood gushes from her navel. Jennifer screams in shock. The finger wiggles for a second then it moves down. It cuts open her lower belly like a sharp scalpel creating a clean vertical opening. It opens Jennifer's belly as if an expert surgeon performs a vertical C-section on her. Two tiny hands rip open her skin and a doll-like creature emerges from her belly. The white sheet that covers the bed turns red. Soaked wet with Jennifer's blood and amniotic fluid. Chucky, Tiffany, and Glenn stand up and give a standing ovation. Our baby is a very talented surgeon. Said Chucky. Tiffany wipes her happy tears. She then carries the baby from the mess of blood and flesh that is Jennifer's belly. His umbilical cord is still attached to her belly. Chucky walks closer to Jennifer. She lies down, barely breathing. Her body is still twitching in shock after the tearing of her belly. 
Chucky caresses Jennifer's hair and at the same time points his large knife on her chest right above her heart and slowly plunges the knife in her breast. You have done well, you can rest now, said Chucky, a blink before Chucky is about to give Jennifer her death sentence. Jennifer's belly moves violently, blood spills out from the wound and Jennifer screams in pain again. Seems like there is another creature inside her belly. What in the world is happening? Said Chucky in confusion, Jennifer lets out a short but loud screech. With a wet tearing sound, her belly erupts and another voodoo baby emerges from the belly. She has been carrying twins all along. Jennifer died instantly. What a show, damn, said Chucky while applauding. The three dolls applaud and the screen slowly fades to black. So what do you think about this rewrite? Do you think this will make the movie better? Or you prefer the original? With that, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.